Hey guys, welcome back to Adi and Bella Crafts, and in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five ways to pass the time while illuminating. This video can attain to or has to do with any sort of craft, whether it's knitting or crocheting or just any sort of DIY like that, because sometimes I find it can get pretty boring when you're just knitting and not doing anything else. So the first way to pass your time while knitting or doing any sort of DIY is to listen to music. Listening to music is one of the best ways to possibly pass the time because I feel like it is so therapeutic when you hear music or maybe when you're playing your favorite songs on Spotify or Apple Music or something like that. Most of the time I will either just turn on my radio and listen to music or a CD or I will just turn connect my Spotify to my speaker or just play it from my phone. This next idea is kind of like the last one and it is to listen to a podcast. This is slightly different than listening to music but it does kind of in, it is in the same area. I love to just listen to, my favorite podcast is the How to Live in Denmark podcast because I went to Denmark last summer and this little podcast just talks about Denmark and it reminds me of my travels there. But you can listen to any podcast you want. There are so many on Apple Podcasts or on the iHeartRadio podcasts. All of them are amazing and you can definitely tune into them. And it's just very therapeutic for me also just to hear some people talking as I illuminate. It's just something for me to do when I illuminate. The next idea is to watch TV. My brother actually has a $50 Melonix TV that he has to watch while he's upstairs. It's like a kind of like a Bluetooth TV. It looks like a TV. It's kind of like an iPad, but it tunes into local channels. And sometimes we will set that up in our room because we don't have TVs in our room while we are doing some sort of craft or whatever. Or you can go sit downstairs and watch a TV show or a movie while you're loom knitting. Sometimes I do get a little sidetracked, but I have gotten better at multitasking. So yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite ideas to do. As also well. guys, this kind of just goes with the um, whole like watching TV thing. But you guys can also watch YouTube movies or Netflix or anything like that as well when you're knitting. My next idea is to read a book or listen to an audiobook because I really love doing that as well. You can just have the book propped up in your hand or you can even have an audiobook or you can just read a book from your phone so you can just like switch the pages online rather than actually having to worry about like the pages like going all around the place while you're trying to knit. But I do definitely do that a lot and I do definitely listen to audiobooks as well when I am loom knitting and there are a bunch of free ones online as well that you can find. There's also an app called Audible that I would definitely recommend. They have some really cool audiobooks and podcasts and stuff like that. The next idea is to go outside and loom knit. I don't know what it is, but I feel like outside is a whole lot more exciting than inside for me. I really like to just go outside and maybe like sit on my front porch or something and just loom knit or something like that. That definitely um, makes the time go faster. I live in North Carolina right now, so it's like a hundred and something degrees outside. But when it gets to like the November months and it's like 80 or 70 degrees outside, and sometimes it's colder in North Carolina weather, if you live around here, it could be like 40 degrees or even 30 degrees in November, or it could be like 80 degrees. It was 80 degrees one Christmas one year, and it was amazing. You could have jumped in the pool. The next idea is to be productive while you are limiting or doing whatever craft you like doing as well. I like to have fun conversations sometimes with my grandma when I go to her house and I loom knit a lot. Or sometimes I will just talk to my par parents or just my siblings or something while I loom knit. And sometimes what I will do is I will bring my knitting or something. And this sounds like really dorky, but my brother has football games, so I will bring them to my brother's football games. And that's definitely very helpful because I it's like a two-in-one. I get to watch my brother play football and I get to knit. You could also bring your knitting to the waiting rooms and doctor's offices or anywhere that you're going. It really doesn't matter, but a lot of times I'll bring my knitting in the car as well. That's definitely, that could be a whole other point. Knitting in the car is definitely so, I mean, so helpful. So really, I have more like six tips, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. Knitting in the car is so amazing because especially if you're going on like a long trip or something, knitting in the car is so helpful because... It's like a two-in-one as well. You have something to do. 
you're knitting, you can listen to music or your podcast or something in, and you're driving. So it's like a three in one. I would definitely recommend trying that, guys. All right, guys. So that is all five or six of my tips. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I decided to do this since fall and Christmas are coming, and that's when most people like to knit and do a lot of DIYs for Christmas gifts or just for the fall and winter seasons. So if you liked that video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and comment if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.